real quick, guys, we're going to do a wait, this is a recap review yeah, just of recap review, recap thoughts, review, anything. With episode four yes. of Hawkeye. Off the bat, what do you think about it? Uh, so uh. <laughs> it was just like I I felt things were going to happen that I knew would happen. So, but I mean, still, it kept me intrigued. Still, of course, the last episode was like amazing. Mm. This episode was still good, but like that episode was still like the best so far this yeah. season. But episode this one, three was the best yeah, so well, far. The third episode was so good, but for this one, uh, kind of took it down a notch. Like it wasn't as crazy. Just kind of like it was. It was, but I did like how they built more on the connection of Clint and Kate. Yeah. So that was awesome how they did that. There's see, cause not every episode needs to be full of action and all that. So I appreciated how there was more building on them trusting each other and building this partnership but they did that trope again where after that trust was built something happens to make them uh make one of the characters not want to work with the other one again i i thought and people were thinking that it was going to be a situation where uh maybe when kate found out that he was ronin that that was going to be the thing that was going to be like oh you're not who i thought you were and right. gonna split up for a second and then come back later but no it was the the, the like that parental uh, yeah. uh, uh, protector in, in, in Clint like I'm putting you in too much danger yeah like after, you're not we're not partners he, after he pictured her over the side of the building yeah that that triggered him bad yeah, I was like I was like this is you're in too much danger yeah. go home and then yeah. uh, but of course she didn't she came back and fought some more mm-hmm. but like after that just brought in some flashbacks of like anybody can die at any any chance yeah this is getting we're, too all, real. we're, we're mortal what know? did he say he's like there is there is now a black widow assassin, assassin. this is too real yes. no. it's it just became too real yeah and uh basically he just doesn't want to put her in any danger and go home kate yeah at the very end which makes then, sense uh, i mean oh, yeah. but but technically they should have had that should have been the conversation after this episode too right but there we are. He said he, just, he kept, I just felt he didn't feel like it was dangerous enough. Yeah. But like like she now, can handle this. She can handle that. Yeah, but now there's like an assassin who's very good at killing people. And uh, so it's just like, she's this, this is too much danger now. I have to do this by myself. I think this episode, like the, the quality of the episode in comparison to, to the previous one, you're right. I agree, was a step down. But I think the character of Kate was a step up. Yeah. She is... I, that the thing that I like the most was the moment where her walls started to come down on the swordsman. What's his oh, name? Oh yeah, yeah. When she yeah. started to smile yeah. at him, because and here's a fun fact that I did not know that he's in the comic book. He's a good guy. Yeah, and he's actually he, he actually, actually trains. He's actually a nice. Clint. He's actually a good guy. Yeah. I thought he was. A, I thought he was an MCU villain. Right. And that maybe he would be. So, but but seeing but seeing that but hearing that that he's actually a, a, a decent guy or a good guy, then that, that just goes back to my theory that the real villain is Kate's mom. Oh yeah, I mean after this episode, and, not, and don't and don't tell if you know something from the comic book. Don't don't let's not talk about. Uh, I don't just, know too just much. Just based on I, what I, we I, know. I here. haven't I haven't read the Matt Fraction comic book line, which is a lot of this series based off of. Mm-hmm. I want to read it, but I haven't read it yet. Mm-hmm. And I usually just want to like be surprised, and right. then I'll go back and read it later. And uh, but I know it's based a lot of that comic book line from like 2007, 2006. Right. And uh, but yeah, um, definitely she's more she's, and more, she's more and more each episode. Her mom's becoming more and more uh, suspicious. I mean, she's got like, that insidious background. So yes. what do you expect, right? I mean, especially the first episode, like just she's hella sketchy. Everybody's like, we didn't see him die. It's it's we. She's having that argument. She's obviously involved. Now, if if the swordsman is a is a good guy. It, it throws everything logically it throws everything into a loop um mm-hmm. the argument that she had with the was what's his name the, the old man and yeah, before he uh, died the fact that she lied to her daughter obviously well parents right. do that but lied to her daughter about like does that guy did that guy threaten you she didn't really lie she just threw it off like it was like it was trivial like yeah, yeah it was weird i don't know why that guy was talking to me like that because doesn't he know i'm gonna stab him later yeah, right, like, yeah, that's yeah. kind of how i took it like she, like, like, like she's playing too I don't know how to put it because she's playing her part. If she's a bad guy, she's playing that concerned mother perfectly where where I feel like people a lot of people are not going to see it coming. I feel like it's obvious. Oh, that, yeah. that's, there's the mystery. I mean, she's the especially mystery. right when the dad died in the first episode. And we didn't see it. They were yeah. arguing about something serious. Yes. And then just 
Obviously, they awesome. loved each other. Oh yeah. But but if she's deep in this mob and what? Uh, Especially, she has all this money now, apparently, and it's like. Yeah, she said that she wasn't born rich, but her yeah. daughter was, and obviously that money might might have come from maybe yeah. him. Right. I don't know why people are speculating that the that the uncle is that dad. Why would it be? No, no, no. I, it seemed like he loved his daughter so much. Even if he had to fake his death, he would still reach yeah. out to her before before the, what. 12 years or so yeah that was that's 2012 and it's approximately like 10 12 2012 yeah 10 12 years maybe the yeah 2024 yeah yeah yeah. because the blip yeah yeah it's definitely 2024 or something like that but yeah and uh i i I wouldn't just based on how loving he seemed on that first episode i wouldn't think if if i had to fake my death i would if i i would at least wait till my daughter uh was like 18 or something or at least if i could tell that she was at an age where she can Keep this something. Where's, it just it doesn't seem around, like he's where she's not around Eleanor so much. Yeah, like when she's not around, she, yeah, yeah, you can trust it. Yeah, or, yeah. Or, or, I I think he's dead. I but, think that's Kingpin. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, d- definitely the guy we hand we saw was Kingpin from that last episode. People said they heard him like laugh. A yes. Bit. I and didn't. Then, I'm gonna have to go back and check. And then I there's an it. interview like one YouTube channel put on like of Vincent DeVario and he like did his chuckle. And then I went and watched that episode. I was like, this is the same that's laugh. Him. It's it's him. It's him. Or it could be an actor who was told to do that laugh. To yeah. Throw but I off. mean, like, for all we know, Vincent. It's supposed to be Vincent, let, but that let's, but let's Vincent not, wasn't really let's there. Let's not day. do another Ralph Boner from. WandaVision. It's Ralph Boner. It's it's Ralph Boner. What did you think about Echo? I, I I heard people saying that I still don't see. She's an interesting character. She's doing a great job, the actor and everything. I don't see enough here to justify a spinoff. I'm gonna have to agree with that a little bit. Yeah. I'm gonna have to see a little bit more, like her tortured path. That that flashback that that they showed us. I was like, oh yeah. Now I, I can now right. I can see a spinoff. From that, but after that, ever since then, I was like, oh, okay. Well, I mean, that was her episode. Like, that, that was, was her. Yeah, that was like she appeared in the final two minutes of episode two, and then. But three I still kind of want more. I mean, I'm sure there'll maybe be in more. the last episode, maybe she'll it's do something. Just, this was this was more about Clint and Kate. Yeah, and obviously, then, on the last episode, she's yeah. uh, Echo's gonna do something oh, big yeah. to to lead off into her spinoff. Yeah. It, it's always gonna be like the last episode or like maybe past last yeah. two episodes but you know like this can't I, I be that episode to lead off into her spinoff no. the way it ended like that no we're gonna have to see but we got the, we gotta see there her is again. there's a lot of comic book material also for echo that they could use um we were talking about it earlier about how the whole thing with kevin feige mentioned in daredevil and stuff i'm i'm you know, thinking she has connections with daredevil so. i'm thinking that if the only reason why Kevin Feige even gave us that much, which he didn't have to do, right. is because it is Vincent D'Onofrio, oh, and yeah. it's like, well, because people are gonna get in my damn face anyway. Yeah, the second they see him as Kingpin, they're gonna be bitching about Daredevil. So I might as well say it now, so they can easily. And so, cause, cause you know his phone was gonna blow up with every kid trying to hit him up on his DM. Right, right. <laughs> Come on, Kevin, you yeah. know you were on Daredevil. So and, I'm uh, thinking he was doing damage control oh, yeah. for his inbox. Because <laughs> I mean, we we already know it's like yeah. Exactly. And, but uh, I mean, what I meant for this episode, though, is it really it toned down on some of the action and it place did. of story. Yeah. And which, I mean, every movie, show, whatever, it needs times where it's just story and not explosions and fighting all in your face. But I thought episode time, but, uh, two, uh, not uh, two or three, did that well. I thought three they, did it the best. So far. They, with the, 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 fight, the, the, the dialogue between the between yeah. Kate and yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. It's but just, with the sun with the sun on the phone epic right. thing i thought that was the most touching. that was that was good but this one was just like she's trying to help him through not being with his family like he, she wanted him to have a that christmas tradition still right that's what they did briefly in this episode and she's just she is feeling bad because all this kind of happened because she put on the ronin suit People were talking yeah. about how that you know they were wondering why this why they would make this th- themed about Christmas and I was hope- some people were okay with it, was, was happy with it and they loved the fact that it was Christmas themed. There's o- other people who were like we have too many Christmas themed uh, stuff. I don't want it to be a Christmas uh, yeah, show. But, but this episode, end- this this episode to me made this series. A cri- this Christmas is now tech is now quintess is now the most one of the, the the key things about this series now. Right. They they made that they they cemented that this is now this is no longer um, 
Die Hard. It's Home Alone too. Now, <laughs> like it's Christmas is the ma- is the main is one of the main. I mean, there's yeah. not been much of that MCU at all. Yeah, and they only did it one other time. Yeah. I, I, no, she was actually talking uh, overall, like in Hollywood in general. Oh, like, okay. it's, it, like it's been hundred over a hundred years, and we they've been using Christmas over all, all other holidays. Um, for uh, you know, it's time to acknowledge other things, I, and I and I agree. Sure. But but MCU has only had Christmas in the background once. Like, I think the Iron Man three, and and we know that with these TV shows, Iron Man and Iron Man three, yeah. and we know with, with that we know that Kevin Feige likes to that dabble with different genres, like yeah. like Winter like Winter Soldier was a spy thriller, and and um, Wanda Wanda Vision, they 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 the, did the an sitcom. homage to all those old sitcoms. Yeah. This is a Christmas. Uh, this is this is trains, like, planes, and automobiles with yeah. bows and arrows and guns. Right, right, right. So I I I, I understand it. And I'm oh okay yeah, with I it. mean I like it. If there's a season two, obviously it won't be Christmas. No, no, no. It's just this is this is, you know, this Clint, is Clint's first time with his family. Back, yeah, it make, he's a family man. It's so. a fa- yeah, it's like just what the most the most family holiday tends to be Christmas. Yeah, and so that's because why it's doing it, it this way. Right, and, uh, but I mean, I like it's the, the most commercial. It's America, and it's the most commercialized holiday. Right, That's just, right, it right. just makes sense financially. Exactly. That's yeah. why you see Baby Yoda uh, in, a, in a Santa hat. <laughs> right. <laughs> but what was another character? Then, then we got then towards the end. We got everybody thought that this was going to be the episode where we were going to see Wilson Fisk. We right. didn't get it. I figured it'd be one of the two. But we got Yelena. Yeah, and. And that was funny. That was cool how they introduced it. He's like, yeah. I'm fighting Echo uh, right now. No, you're not. If right. you're fighting Earth, who the hell am I fighting? Right, right. See, at first, I thought, I thought, because you know, the widows always just that face mesh thing or whatever. Mm. And so I, I first thought one of them was doing that. But then, of course, when you go outside, it, she's wearing. Yeah. So I thought basically the one outside was, was wearing the face disguise thing. Yeah. But then she's wearing a mask only. And so that was pretty cool. Because they both thought they're both fighting. That they're fighting Echo, Echo. and then when Echo got into the fight, I love the I love the way that Black Widow didn't, and I call her Black Widow. Yeah, I mean, because uh, I know she is a Black Widow. No, she is Black Widow now. Now, yes, to me, and I'll talk about that in a second. But I like the fact that she didn't. She could have just killed Echo if she wanted to, if she wanted, but she didn't. She just punched her real quick. Get out! Of, I, I'm, I'm doing yeah, something. Stop I mean, interrupting. Kind of a right, little, right. little polite punch. Like get the hell out of the way. <laughs> kind of a thing i like that and to and to i mean echo. yeah she, she was definitely not going her full because she was not trying to kill everybody you know she just wanted to kill clint yeah but it feels like after like some some parts of that fight he she, i think she realized like she's not that bad because he was trying to protect kate through it all but and, and that's, but, the, but see but here's the thing this this now this goes back into what falcon and, and falcon winter, winter soldier, soldier. Yelena's not dumb, oh, and yeah. the way she was, the way she was able to hide from the Black Widow project and find her sister and all that, she's she's right. she's not stupid. Oh, yeah. Okay, you're obs- honest. I, I, okay, if they go from the angle of I'm just mad that I didn't get enough time with my sister after all we've been through and and whatever. If they're going with that ang- uh, angle that she's just pissed, then that's fine. Maybe she's not really trying to kill mm-hmm. um, Clint, even if even though what's her name. This center. Well, I think I think Val's just manipulating her. Obviously, but, but Val's Val, manipulating. Val has like this hidden. But I wouldn't and... think I wouldn't think Elena would be dumb. I mean, why would Clint kill? I know it's it like it doesn't make any sense after they, all they've been through. Yeah, I mean, you d- know, unless Elena didn't know. I mean, but Elena seems but to know about the but Avengers. She, but, but but she's smart enough to. Uh, everybody else seems to know about the Avengers, right? And everybody else seems so to like, know yeah, that I mean, that, she, that him and her were, were best friends. I mean, they're out there. You, so the no information way. is out there that they were close. Right. So either this is purely just I'm pissed at you for not saving my sister, and she, that's why she. I mean, she because she did. She could have sniped him at any time. I mean, because she, she's an excellent sniper, like you like you saw in the Black Widow movie. Yeah. And at, at, at any time. She but she came to fight him hand to hand and surprise him, and so maybe maybe Val is trying to get her to kill him. But Yelena's, but Yelena's like, no, I know he's not the reason she's dead. I, I, mean, I, I just hold him responsible for, for yeah. 
and I thought, and obviously, it's, to me, it's going to be like it's going to be a, a conversation, and it's going to be, and then yeah, she's going to be mad conversation. because Clint, Clint's going to, Clint's the kind of guy that's going to. I, I tried to, I tried to. He's torturing myself. himself right now. Yeah, like he's just. I, I tried, tried to die. I tried to die. I tried to, die. and she and, just let let me. And and it, it's either going to be a very passionate, angry conversation, like how I, dare you think that I didn't try to die? Yeah, kind of a thing, or it's going to be just. Yeah, nothing, and like the yeah. only thing that would bring her back. Bring anything back would be one of them. And Clint, Clint had way more to lose than than, than Black Widow. It made right. more sense for Black Widow to be the sacrifice. Yeah. But but he still tried. Yeah. It's crazy. But if so, I don't I don't know why Elena would. This is obviously just her. I I, I just hope that it's more of just her just grieving. Right. And not a real assassin. I mean, yeah, attempt. I feel like if it was just her being an assassin. He'd be the, dead. He'd be dead by now. Yeah, like they want to be. Because it, it, it want to be, be a hand to hand fight. Take one of the kids, draw them out. Right. You, you, you call, get a couple back, black widows to help you. What's Clint gonna do? Clint. I, I mean, mean, Clint's good, but he's not. Yeah. Not that. I mean, it, or she just sent him right down the roof. If she really wanted to, like, kill him, because yeah. he's out. He was out there. Nobody no He was out there on the roof, and she did. If she really wanted him dead, I feel like he would have been dead by a sniper rifle or just a, a gunshot from far. Now I heard yeah. that we all heard that Scarlett Johansson and Disney have patched things up a little mm-hmm. bit. You now she's going to do another project and whatnot, and then and she she'll probably even come back for a flashback or, or maybe a sequel to Black Widow, maybe. Right. But I was after seeing Black Widow and and the Yelena character. I was even then, even before the scandal started to pop up, which should have never happened. Bob Chapek, you're idiot for letting that get to that far what the what the hell's wrong with you oh yeah i mean like but, Kevin, you know so Kevin Feige was trying to fight for the movie to be on the yeah. ends only bob Iger would have never let that that get, get as bad as it got but i'm glad they settled it and got it out of out of the way but even before that i was i was okay with this is our new black widow i thought right. i just felt like scarlet was done like maybe she would go to the side as a producer mm-hmm. maybe she'll do a flashback here and there but we have because we're maybe because everybody keeps talking about the young avengers and stuff like that we got a new black widow and it's kind of what happened it's what happens in the comic book so i mean right I, I, after, and, and then after seeing her in action today i was even more yes I, she is becoming more i love scarlett johansson if i if i had a choice i would prefer scarlett johansson but she yelena is uh, she's this actress is doing a perfect job of being a fill-in Oh yeah, she's a she that 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 look that she gave when she jumped off the roof backwards. <laughs> that was it was it was awesome. Yeah. She she's done a and she, she was able to like like basically shook her head no and like Kate like withdrew her arrow. Like she just like I saw that coming a mile away. Yeah. The second Clint told that story about like how how the the best shot that I ever took was the one I never I yeah. didn't take. I was like I, the second the second right? when she when she when she shot Echo. Yeah. And she pulled up another arrow. I was like, okay, she got to save Clint. I'm like, this is about to be her best shot, never take him on. Which means that this new Hawkeye and the new Black Widow are about to become besties. Right. <laughs> so it's like basically Jelena was like, just shook her head at her and she was like, okay. Make, what do you think that meant? Do you think that meant I'm not really trying to kill him? Or do you think it meant I'm ready? I'm, I, would, I don't care. Like, like the way it meant with Scarlet's uh, character. Because well, Clint made it seem like, like no, Clint said that Scarlet didn't care. She was ready to die, yeah. and he saw something in her and pulled her into the Avengers. Uh, I mean, to uh, Shield. Right back during uh, when he was sent to kill her. To her. And so obviously, it was the same exact moment. She sees something in Yelena. Mm-hmm. Was that shaking? Because I saw that shaking of the head. No, too. Yeah. Was that shaking of the head? No, meant. I don't care. I'm ready to die. Or did it why, mean? I mean, I feel like if she still wanted to fight, she would have stayed. But she's like, she was like, which make which brings me to my theory. I don't think she's really trying to kill Clint. No, I, I mean, think Valve is trying to make her kill him. Right. But I think she's like, I mean, yeah, oh, I know he's not I, really I responsible. Like I feel like there's a parallel. I think there's something. Yeah. This is this is this is Kate's Budapest. Yeah, and, Yelena's uh, probably just using Valve to just as a resource. And she's gonna. She's joining whatever team that Valve is, is trying to put, uh, put together because you know it's in the script. Yeah. But and she probably just wants to get that anger out because you know you could have saved my sister or found a way to save my sister and I just want to punch you in the face real quick. Right. She's probably just using this as therapy. But yeah. so it's either that I wasn't really trying to kill him. I'm just trying to get some anger out, or it's or that note sh- that head shaking was 
I'm ready to die too. I I, I don't know what to call. I don't. Maybe episode. Maybe the next episode will tell us. But I feel sure, like just don't don't. I'm 50 50 on it. Yeah. What do you think? Like, what do you, what are you leaning towards? I'm, I'm leaning more that she is gonna be good. And so, oh yeah, she's gonna be good. But yeah, that's my like, question: What do you think? I don't what, think she is ready. What do you to think die. that shaking no meant? Do you do you think it meant I'm ready to die, I, or did it mean I'm not really trying to kill Clint? I'm just angry. yeah. I don't think it meant she was trying to die. I I would lean more. She was just, by her actions. We saw if she wasn't if she wanted Clint dead, it would have happened. Yeah, because she I felt like she was like holding back. I feel so too. And so I don't think she's trying to kill him. Just punching Echo in the face. Like, get, get, like getting had, some anger out. She had in, she had intel on felt like on everybody. I mean, uh, like, like, if anybody should have been even killed just to get her out the way, I feel like she could have easily taken out Echo permanently. Yeah. But she didn't. She didn't want to kill. She didn't try to kill anybody. No. And she's a black widow. Yeah. Like she's trained to kill people. <laughs> she's trained to kill, and she likes things. Uh, well, I mean, we already know from Black Widow that she's she's ready to die as long as the death is a good death. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's what the head shaking me. Oh, come on. An arrow is boring. Yeah. <laughs> like, don't kill me with an arrow. That's like, boring. That'd be lazy. Yeah. That's, that's, that's lame. Um, maybe that was, maybe that's what the head shaking Yeah, I, I, I think there's like a few interpretations you can go off of for that mm-hmm. head shake. Yeah. Um, just like, yeah. It, it's, I'm, I'm 50, 50 on it. It could either be that it's obviously grief. It's mm-hmm. either I'm ready to die. Just like she was ready to die. Like now that I don't have my sister anymore, I'm ready to die. Or it's, Come on, give me a sec- give me a chance. I'm not really trying to kill Clint. I just need to punch him in the face real fast because yeah. I'm just just pissed. It's like now I'm out. And now I'm out. Like, and, now, just... and then in the next episode we can be friends. Yes. What do you think? You think it's gonna be the next by the end of the next episode? Or do you think by the end of the season hmm. that there we that she'll I call mean, it true? It, it, it does say she'll be in all three episodes. So yeah. So, so it's like will they be fighting throughout until the all three, or will they squash it by? This, the, the I, next I, episode I, and then be allies in the last episode I feel like they should talk it out in the next episode and, and, then, and then be 100% allies from the beginning of the, of yeah, the season and then, and then tie in I want that kingpin fist yeah yeah we, uh, yeah. we need to get yeah Yelena needs to stop fighting so we can get a screenshot of fist yeah. <laughs> that's what we want right but, but yeah still I agree with you step down a little bit uh, from th- the third episode but uh, for, to me it was a step up it with was Kate a good story good good uh that that mystery with the mom, I'm I'm I didn't oh, yeah. I'm sorry I didn't trust her since on episode one. Then, She's then, up to something. And then now this phone call she had after Clint left. Exactly. So it's like, dun dun dun. I was I was hoping when Clint stole back the sword. Oh, he, I was and he did it like so, so like smooth. Yeah, it's just so smooth how he I, took it. I thought they would do something lame, like have the swordsman be like, well, "Where the where the sword go?" I'm glad that that, that he didn't they didn't even mention it or yeah. bring it up and then because just, he knows that. I mean, I don't even know why Clint even had to pretend like he's to, to sneak it out. It was at it was stolen from an Avengers compound exactly. and sold in a black I mean, market. I think that's why it wasn't shown. Why you why we didn't see it happen? It just oh, so all of me has it. Yeah. Under. But yeah. but but I mean, what 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 argument would they have made right. to for him to not take? I think it? that's why it wasn't. Like, sh- I think that's why it wasn't shown because. Because he, because he, he he saw it on the, he saw it against the wall. Yeah. He grabbed it. He snuck it out, and he, and he just and they and they didn't gripe about it afterwards. But if he wanted to, he could have been like, "I'm taking that sword, by the way." Yeah. Because you would have it illegally. Yeah. I, I wouldn't. Have, I would have been okay with either or. But they did it on the smooth. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. I thought I thought he was gonna just tell them straight up, "I'm taking that sword, by the way." Right. Right. That's <laughs> what I thought you almost too. Me with. And yeah. then, of and course, then the phone call with the mom. I feel like she's. I feel like that has to be fist. Exactly. Yeah. You, I, I've been thinking this. That I've, I've been thinking. Of course, of course it was just, it was just, it was just a voice it. message. They didn't answer the phone. She just left a message. But I feel like she was talking to Fisk. And then, and then we, we got more mysterious with the watch. Because his, his 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 wife knows all about it too. That was one thing. Uh, why did it take so long to circle back to that watch? They talked about this. Uh, forget all the other stuff. The watch is the most important thing, and it takes three episodes to circle back in a six episode show. Right. It took way too long for us to circle back to that watch. We talked about everything: the sword, the 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 suit. We we, we even brought back the uh, the the larpers. <laughs> yeah. Before we circle back to that watch, and then, but it really just tied in what, like, how does his wife have all this connection? She found out about Sloan. She Se- has security. She about, got a billion dollar security company. She's got not, files on people. Not Eleanor, uh, Clint's wife. 
Oh, he doesn't keep any secrets. I love the fact that, that yeah. he doesn't lie to her. And then she was able to like find out where the watch was and about Jack as the CEO of Sloan. This would indicate that Clint's wife either has shield clearance mm-hmm. or is a sh- either a or former shield agent. And maybe the watch is hiding something about her. You know, it's like, oh, I like that. Yeah. That's why we have to get that watch. And like just now, she but, has but, all this. but the watch has been missing for a, a long, long time, and Clint didn't know anything about that black auction thing. He only no. knew about it because he he saw his suit was being worn by somebody. Right. So that watch. Uh, having who, who Clint, told him about the watch? Was it Tate or? Yeah, that that just came up yeah. in this episode. And then like he's like, oh, it oh, oh, was hurt. Like, did, any, did anything else get taken from the facility? And he's like, do you mean the Rolex? And so then. That's when they started. That's when they started talking about it. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. So if this if this so watch is linked knows. to Clint, then it's like how they didn't even Clint was only cared about. It's like what is this? Hopefully, find out soon. What, what's yeah. This so I wouldn't think it was. I don't think it's linked to his wife. Yeah. I think it I mean, watch is like, linked to. It's why does she know so much about it too? Because they were looking for it from, since episode one. What is yeah. on this watch? Who used to have this watch? I, well, maybe just, Nick Fury. Maybe maybe it'll link it to another show. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's maybe it's Nick's watch. Maybe it's and then but it was in Echo's apartment. That's where Tate found it. Because they 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 got it. They when they when they yeah, yeah. bombed the auction. So it's like why is why did Echo have it personally in her apartment? Labeled and everything, right? Yeah, still had the tag on it. Avengers facility. Yeah. Compound. Um, they were probably saving it for for Wilson Fisk to yeah. give it to him. For some reason, he wants it. What's what does this watch do? But what if, does it reveal? And but if Kate's mom. If that security company, and maybe that's what the argument with the, with her husband was about, like we got, we we can't do this stuff for for, for the kingpin anymore. This is too dangerous. Yeah. And and that uh, there's like one thing I saw like out there, like it's not so much Jack. It's all like Eleanor. She's Jack's kind of just like he is innocent. Like yeah. Oh yeah, she's definitely setting yeah. him up. Like I feel like, like he's the CEO, but like her, I like she's the one doing all she, the shady she's, stuff. Exactly, she's doing all the shady stuff, and I think. She made her deal with the devil, with Wilson Fisk, a long time ago, and to come up in the ranks, he introduced her to key people. Like you need to start dating this guy. Maybe y'all get married because if you because if you have a because this can lead you to. Di- you can I think I think Kingpin has put her in specific situations in her personal life and business life to benefit him for a long in the yeah. long run of again. I think she's been with Fisk since. Mm-hmm. Way before she even met uh, her her husband that she killed. Right, and the, <laughs> the only reason he took the sword is because he just likes swords. So right. he's, he's not he's not behind any. Yeah, he's a, he just wanted he just wanted a sword to see because he likes swords. swords and stuff. No, yeah. I'm talking, but I'm I'm talking about yeah, even yeah. before like Kate's father. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. like I think she's been with I think she I think she's been in the long game with with Kingpin since day one yeah. of, of before Kate was even born. So yeah, she's corrupt. All these other villains that we keep meeting, like Echo and all this stuff, this is just a distraction. Yeah, because the, the mom is the real villain, or oh, the real, the real uh, hench, uh, sidekick, the yeah. Harley Quinn to the Joker type villain. I yeah. guess she's the Phantom Menace <laughs> pulling Cause, the string. Because she, she's like Clint, I you need to let this go. Yeah, and she's like, I'm sorry, I can't. Yeah, that that was that, that didn't just. Sound- uh, no, yeah, I'm that glad is, you brought that up. Yeah, because I'm gonna look at my really camera sit, and talk about. That well. Let me, let me, let me, t- let me talk about that that episode, that that moment. I'm a I'm a parent. I have a daughter. Even if my daughter was 22 years old, had all those skills and all that stuff, you're you're roaming around. Let me tell you how that conversation really would have gone. First, I would have asked that man, that grown ass man, that's old enough to be my my daughter's father. That she obviously idolizes since that Avengers attack on New York. Yeah, y'all are jumping around the city doing all this dangerous stuff. My my daughter idolizes you. Human beings are human beings. I'm sorry to make this go a little into a into a creepy uh, way, but we see we see people who idolize their um the, the some some uh, people tend to fall in love with these people. My first question would have been, have you done anything inappropriate with my daughter? That would I'm sorry I know she's like an adult but that would have been because one thing does lead to another you idolize this man who knows if you didn't try to make a move on him even if he is married it, it happens I mean we're human that would have been my first question <laughs> obviously Clint would have said no 
and I probably would have believed him, but I wouldn't have trusted my daughter. She has worshipped this person ever since her father died, and he's seen him say, I wouldn't take it out of my brain that Kate would have. Obviously, that's might, might not be what happens in the comic book. It's, it's right. far from what I'm just talking about. If this was real life and if she was my daughter, that would have been my first question. Have you done anything inappropriate with this man? <laughs> this grown up, uh, this adult. I know they're both adults, but you know what I mean. He's still, she would still be my child. Right. Um, and then that whole, then after getting that all out the way and stuff, that that. Like, but you're right. That whole let this go. Yeah, like First, why? it was I don't want my daughter getting involved with all this other this stuff, and now you're telling an Avenger to what to let it go. Why? Yeah, you're hiding something. Exactly. You because you, you, if because maybe it's her information. Maybe that watch has her information on it. She's something. And but 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 Clint's he's a, he's referring to somebody that he's known for a long time. Mm. That's what he said. It's like. And like if, if this gets out, then his cover or whatever is busted. Maybe it's, yeah. And so it's like... What is Kate's mom? Yeah. We'll figure it out. I mean, she's just... She's shady. That's all we know. Yeah, yeah we know. And she's definitely working with the teen pen. Definitely. All right, guys. I love the episode. Uh, and I, it's, it's The show has been building since episode one. Every show got a little bit better. This was a, a tick down. I wouldn't say step. Just a little hair down it was a, it was a step up for the development of kate yeah. um i don't think that clint will be dead by the end of this i think we're gonna get a couple of, i don't think clint's gonna die i think he's no. gonna retire and oh, pass we know how that well that goes yeah he's retired like three times already yeah but i think yeah. this time with, with with having a hawkeye uh a, a yeah, like with, see, the, with his wanna, same i skills, don't want to see clint barton go though He's become one of no, I think I, I think he'll stay around as a mentor, like uh, West like, Coast, like like West Coast, like you said, like West Coast Avengers. Yeah, I think he's gonna stick around for that. I think, but he, I think he's gonna retire from action as yeah. well. Well, well, like you said, technically Nick Fury shouldn't be out there doing all this stuff, but he's still out there doing it. So, right, right. as as as, as, a, as a Nick Fury type of level kind yeah. of thing. But so basically, he's just trying to. Be, so basically, he's gonna be like the director of like the West. Like the Avengers, director, like yeah. I think he's gonna, yeah. I think he's gonna retire too. So that. he's kind of like being like a take like Nick Fury role. When 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 he brought it real quick before I let you go, when he brought up that whole thing about the shot he didn't take, what did you think he was talking about at first? Because I thought it was a different person. Oh really? I'm trying to picture the moment. I mean, see what was his exact words? It was. The best shot I did, best, best, best uh, shot I take took was the one I didn't. Yeah. He's, and we've seen him have a moment like that. Uh-huh. I mean, Chris, I mean, it makes sense why, because it went like a lifelong friendship between them. Ever yeah, since. that the Black Widow it made sense. Yeah. But I thought he was talking about Thor. I thought he was talking about that time he could have killed Thor and right. he didn't. Yeah. Because as we know of what if. We, yeah. The what if episode? It could happen. Yeah, but I, I, but but he didn't. Yeah, but he didn't take the shot because he was because he was ordered not to. Right. So he was I like, mean, I got him. The, the Black Widow was all his heart because he was on a mission by himself. Yeah, it was all his, and he called not to take the shot, and he was told to take the shot, yeah. but he didn't. He, he but chose he, not to. But in that yeah. when he but uh, but when he first was talking about it, that's what I thought he was right, talking right. about. Right, right. But it made more sense that he was talking about Black and Widow. Then, uh, yeah, because they end up they end up having a strong bond, end up being. Aunt Nat to his children yeah. and all that. So we've never seen her interact with his children on screen, have we? Uh, Age of Ultron. Did we? And they yes, cat, and they, 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 yes, they, when they, they all went, when they were they were all the there. Safe house. Right. Okay, good. Okay, good. I'm, no, I'm gonna have to watch was, Age of Ultron again. No, I'm gonna yeah. have to watch that again. Of course, I mean that's the only time we saw it on screen. You know, I'm sure she went back there many times. Yeah, of course. Um, Fisk. Is it going to happen in the next episode, or is it going to happen in the last episode? I th- I think or is it not going to happen at all? Oh, it needs to happen in the next episode. It needs to happen in the next episode. Yeah, I, I think. Yeah, had, like, I think it's going to happen in the next episode. We've, we've already had two, like, yeah, encounters. Well, encounters, whatever you want to say, like the hand, close, and then the phone call. Yeah, we we've we've. Now we've got too many mysteries to unpack. We know with the swordsman not being a real villain to uh to the point. To the, that you know this whole arc with Kate not uh, loving her mother and trying to protect her mother and not trusting swordsmen. 
I've, obviously that's gonna flip now yeah. she's now she's I've, back to not trusting him again a little bit but i think it's gonna flip now you have now her, her, you, her laughing and joking with him what yeah. he was doing trying to open her up that he's, but but clint's was like your instincts might have been right so she's back to kind of not trusting him again but i feel like once her mother is revealed to be a villain she's yeah. now gonna have to lean on him right as a as a mentor now uh, a little bit uh, to trust the swordsman more Exactly. And as a as a new father figure, uh, or maybe you know, a co do, a co Just, father and figure. And then see, uh, we, we need because it, it, it'll be because she'll feel guilty for accusing him, right? And then being wrong, yeah, being so wrong. So she'll feel bad about that, mm-hmm. and probably befriend him. And of course, we need to find out how much her dad too, like for sure. We got to find out. Yeah, that's why I'm thinking they need to like show us Wilson Fist tomorrow uh, next week because. Yeah. There's too many other things. It's only two episodes left, two hours left. There's too many things to unpack. We got to find out what happened to the dad. We got to find out if uh, what's, what's going to uh, lead on to the Echo spinoff. We got to figure out what's going on with, with, with what Yelena's going to do. Right. Um, we got to... Uh, there's too many balls in the air, man. There's too many things to juggle. So yeah. get one of them. Get rid of one of them. Fist, oh, yeah. Fist doesn't need to be in a season finale or, or to trail off to something, to, uh, something else. It needs to be seen. We need to see it now because... Yes. I demand it. <laughs> exactly. We need it. We need it. Needs it needs to be in that suite. Yes, right. Well, let's find out. All right, guys. That's uh, I'm gonna call it and uh, let us know what you guys think. Comment below at all times and tell us. Uh, let's tell us what you think. What's gonna happen? Share your theories and everything. Um, send us more questions, uh, more your, com- uh, your comments and concerns. Uh, T3 Media's on social media or right here on the comment section, and uh, we'll just keep talking about it. I am Chris. That's Daniel, and we will see you at the movies. Our supporters help make all this content possible, so make sure you check out our Patreon page so you can help us bring you the content you want. Push the pedal to the freaking metal. I'm turned up just like heavy metal. Yo. Turned up on another level. Push the pedal to the freaking metal. I'm turned up just like heavy metal.